Power on the system using your thumb key. When the light turns green, press F1. The system will take 30 seconds and will do an automatic initialization. The cutting head will move close to you and to the right. In the control panel, press OK to accept the tools. When you have pressed OK for each of the three modules, the display will indicate that the settings are saved. It is important that each module is loaded with the correct tool. Check the modules 1, 2, and 3 on the cutting machine. These should be represented in the cutting software in the same orientation. Left click on the window on the right. It will open a dialog box with the three tools listed. Press OK to initialize the tools. When you press online, the tools will initialize. First, module 1 and 2 will initialize on the left side of the machine. Module 3 will then initialize on the right side of the machine. Take care because the tool modules move very quickly to the right. When the initialization has completed, right click in the Cut It software and choose Park Position and then Go to Park Position. Alternatively, bring the machine offline by pressing the online button, then use the jog keys to move the head away. Remove any debris from the cutting platform using a brush. This will ensure that the vacuum from the platform will hold the cutting material securely in place. Place the material on the cutting platform. The cutting tools do not reach all the way to the edge of the cutting platform. Ensure that the material is on the good side of the cutting line. Ensure the cutting platform is clear and press online. Load the drawing using the USB dongle under the monitor. Click the folder icon on the bottom of the window to open the file. Click edit to open the drawing in the editor. From the drop down menus, select view, layers. On the top right, you will see the materials. Choose the material that you are cutting. Select the curves, right click, and choose Move Curves to, and choose the tool that you will be cutting with. When all curves have been assigned, close the window. Click the X on the top right of the window. Ensure that Add to Queue is selected, and click Save. Position the laser indicator at the desired zero point. This can be done with a mouse cursor, or alternatively, you can use the arrows on the keyboard. When you are satisfied with the position of the laser indicator, click the Set Reference Position icon at the bottom of the window. The drawing on screen will be adjusted to the new zero point. Press the Play button to begin cutting. When cutting is finished, press the online button to bring the machine offline. Remove your material from the cutting platform. Clean the platform again using the brush to ensure that all debris from your cutting job has been removed. On the control panel, use the down arrow key to select Turn Off Cutter. Press the right arrow key. Press Yes. Settings are saved and the machine shuts down. Log out of the machine using your thumb key.